think there was a boxing match, as I recall. I saw it on film, I don't recall much of it. But no, it was not my idea. The other two fat guys I was with, uh, Jeff Cernick, who I think he ate his little brother when he was a kid, and uh, a guy named Norman Alton. Norman Alton said uh, he was in real good shape. He'd lost like 30 pounds hitting heavy bag. He wanted to box somebody. I said, you want to box somebody? We got somebody for you to box. Got a guy named Special Greg out of Travis's house. Norman says, what's he weigh? I said, about 175, 180, and Greg was that light at that point. Greg, and Norman said, I can take him. I can take somebody. I'm 240, 245, I can, I can, let's do that. So I called up Jeff, told Jeff about it. Jeff said, I want a piece of him too. I said, if you guys are gonna fight him, I guess I'm gonna fight him too. What's up, Greg? Tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, we're ready. Oh boy. We got him. You know what you're asking for? We got him. <laughs> hey, special. TP, man, what's going on? Oh yeah? Four guys, you say? I think I got it. Tomorrow morning, I'll be there. I don't think I'd get in the ring with Greg. Hello everyone, I'm Philip McCrevis. Alongside me, Bend Over, boxing analyst. We're here at the Pastrana Land Boxing Classic. We got the old guys versus special Greg, and it's on today. How about take one for the core? Super fly! Let's say it, round one. <laughs> well, that was my very first swing. And that was uh, Greg's very first swing. It just, it, mine didn't make it, and his made it like with a little extra something on it. Let's see the instant replay. All right, let's do it. Wow. I had to go back out for one more round because I figured whatever hit me with, he can't have two of them. Try That's it. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Man, Phil, I'm glad that wasn't me. And had I seen Greg without his shirt before I fought him, I probably wouldn't have fought him. Had I seen all the gray hair on the back of my head and the back of everybody else's head who fought him, we, we, none of us should have fought him. All righty, here's round two with Jeff Cernick. Swing, Jeff! Oh! oh. The oh. Is oh. Yes, he hit Jeff Cernick one time and Jeff went, woo! And that was it, that fight was over. Jeff went and no parts of him. You are a sissy. Here comes Norm. Holy smokes, he got hit so hard his ancestors will feel that one. Oh, heck yes. Let's watch the replay. <laughs> Here comes Tom P. Greg, I'm coming for you! Yeah! The street bike maniac. Yeah, get big! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm in your face! One there, I would have felt like a sack of taters. Come on, Greg, knock him the F out. Oh, oh, oh go to your knees. On, Quick, go to your knees. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> your knees are on the ground, you're thinking, he didn't even swing. <laughs> you, you know, you see him take down four guys in a matter of five minutes, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that Greg and I are good friends. Right, Greg? I saw those men fighting that day, and I thought to myself, this is a stupid. This is not how you fight a man such as this. You must fight him like a rooster. A rooster will hide in the trees or the bushes. He will wait for the man to walk by, and, and then he will jump out, and he will fight him and, and scratch him with his sharp rooster fingers. This is how you fight such a man. <laughs> 